the most popular designer bags in the world. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the most popular designer bags in the world. Here I'll show you which were the most popular designer bags in the last 3 years, considering sales and Google searches. These are some of the most classic and iconic bags in the world. They will always be popular. All will be linked below in the description box. So without further ado, here are the most popular designer bags in the world. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and check out my new website, luxfy.com. Number 10. Dior Saddle Bag the saddle bag was first created in 1999, at the peak of John Galliano's Dior tenure. Its initial appearance stole the line between what was considered high fashion and, for lack of a better word, ugly. The bag was supposed to be worn short-strapped and tied against the arm like a saddle, hence the name. After the enormous success of the bag in the 2000s, it was discontinued in the 2010s. In 2018, Maria Grazia Curie relaunched the bag, and it has since become a part of the classic styles of the brand. The Dior Saddle Bag takes its cues from the Equestrian Road. The inspiration can be seen in the graphic design, with the now iconic asymmetrical flap. One of the most classic shoulder bags ever, the saddle is an icon. The Dior Saddle Bag is sold for $4,400. Number 9. Louis Vuitton Alma One of the most classic top handles ever, the Alma is one of the most popular designer bags in the world. Rumor goes that the Alma was originally made for Coco Chanel in 1925 as a custom order. The rounded shape and two top handles are inspired by Art Deco. It is as iconic today as it was 100 years ago. In 1934, Coco gave permission for Louis Vuitton to sell the bag to the public, and history was made. Its unmistakable shape makes this compact bag a timeless classic. There are multiple colors and materials to choose from, as well as sizes. It also comes with a detachable strap, so you can wear the bag as a crossbody or top handle. There is an Alma bag for every taste. The Alma was the only non-Chanel bag that Coco Chanel ever carried. If it was good enough for Chanel, it is good enough for me. This Alma BB in the classic Damia print is sold for $1,760. Number 8. Chanel Classic Flap the Chanel handbag that would ultimately become synonymous with the brand was not created until 1983. The Chanel Classic Double Flap was first introduced when Karl Lagerfeld became creative director and decided to interpret Chanel's iconic 255 flap bag. From his artistic vision came two new features, a leather woven chain and a double C turn lock closure. Lagerfeld's Classic Double Flap was a breakout success. Almost 40 years later, and out of all Chanel handbags on the market, the classic double flap remains one of the most sought-after pieces ever crafted. The classic 1112 in lambskin is sold for $10,200. Number 7. Dior Book Tote the book tote was launched in 2018, today is a favorite of Dior clients, and is one of the best designer tote bags ever. It is not difficult to see why Dior's book tote remains so popular. The style, which has fast become a staple of the house, is the perfect way to elevate any daytime ensemble. The Dior book tote is distinguished by the seamless combination of sophistication and relaxed style. The Maria Grazia Curie creation has been reimagined in an array of silhouettes and styles, each one as elegant as the last. The tote exemplifies the house's signature savoir faire and may be carried by hand or worn over the shoulder. And if you are tired of the classic Dior print, each seasonal collection comes with new designs for you to choose from. 
the large book tote sold for $3,500. Number 6. Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag The Louis Vuitton Speedy was first introduced in the 1930s, but remains one of the most recognizable and popular styles of all Louis Vuitton bags. The Speedy first was designed in response to advances in public transportation and the new need for a compact, lightweight bag that was also large enough to hold your daily necessities. The shape is a mini version of the Louis Vuitton Kipo. This Louis Vuitton bag was made popular in the 1960s, when Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying the Speedy multiple times. People say the mini size was designed specially for her. The original Louis Vuitton Speedy bag was designed without a strap, but in 2011, Louis Vuitton released the Speedy Bandoulier with an adjustable strap that can be removed. Until this day, the Speedy remains one of the most collectible Louis Vuitton bags. It will always be chic. The Speedy Bandoulier 25 is sold for $1,820. Always linked below in the description box. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Fendi Baguette Bag It was 1997, when minimalism was all the rage, that Fendi launched the first it bag in history, the Fendi Baguette. The bag was anything but minimalist, but because of its iconic style and pop culture, it became one of the most important bags in fashion history. The bag was designed by Silver Venturini Fendi. It was intended to be worn under the arm in the very same way French people are usually seen carrying their baguettes. The bag was a breakout success. More than 100,000 bags were sold in the first year alone, and its appearance in Sex and the City solidified its place as the ultimate eat bag. Today, 26 years after its debut, the Fendi Baguette remains a stylish it bag that is iconic of the brand and one of the most classic designer shoulder bags. This baguette bag is sold for $3,750. Number 4. Gucci Dionysus Bag This is one of the most popular Gucci bags ever. The crossbody purse has a double flap design made of Gucci's iconic coated canvas, and the U-shaped hardware used to close it dates back to the brand's fall 2015 ready-to-wear line. Dionysus is the god of harvest, wine, and partying, so it makes sense that the bag bearing his name has this more and more aesthetic. The bag's tiger closure was also influenced by mythology. It is said that Dionysus crossed the Tigris River on a tiger that Zeus sent to him. The sliding chain strap can be worn multiple ways. You can double it for shoulder carry or lengthen for crossbody wear. This is a classic Gucci bag that was super popular in the 2010s, but it is still iconic. The mini Gucci Dionysus is sold for $990. Number 3. Gucci Marmont Bag With a classic flap style, the Marmont is a Gucci icon. Not long into his tenure as Gucci's creative director, Alessandro Michel gave us the Marmont bags, with a chain strap crossbody as the signature style. They debuted on the fall 2016 Runaways, capturing everything Michel intended to bottle up and sell in a bag farm. The untethered bohemian spirit of the 70s and the glamour of the Chateau Marmont, the whole town representing the old Hollywood glamour. On the bag, Michel introduced his flipped Gucci logo, adorning a semi-puffed chevron-style quilted pattern. This bag was extremely popular a few years ago, and apparently it is still going strong. The Gucci Marmont is sold for $2,550. Number 2. Louis Vuitton Never Full Introduced in 2007 and thought to be created to compete with Goyard's St. Louis Tote, the Never Full is made of coated canvas and is an icon of the brand. 
while it is not widely publicized. The gem size of the Neverfo is able to hold up to 200 pounds of weight, despite the appearance of the delicate handles. This bag is an amazing companion to take to the beach, to the airport or even to work. In 2013, Louis Vuitton updated their signature tote to include a detachable accessories pouch, and they began introducing additional interior lining colors with an updated print and a full leather version. When Louis Vuitton launched the Onda Go tote, it appeared that the Neverfull would be left behind, but so far the Neverfull has truly proven to be a mainstay of the house. As of last month, you can only buy the Neverfull if you join a wait list that is reported to be 2-3 to three months long. The goal is to increase demand and decrease supply for this iconic style. The Neverfull MM is sold for $2,030. Number 1. Hermes Birkin Bag The Birkin Bag is the most famous and popular bag in the world, and for sure one of the most classic. The Birkin was designed in 1983, when Hermes craze director Jean-Louis Dumas sat next to the actress Jane Birkin on a flight. She was wearing a straw tote and explained that most leather bags were too structured for her taste. So Dumas designed a bag on that flight, on the back of a napkin. Today the Birkin is an icon, and is the kind of bag that will last your whole life. The price of a Birkin when buying directly from an Hermes store varies depending on size, leather, hardware and color, starting at $10,075. On the resale market it can easily sell for double the original price, always linked below in the description box. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And make sure to check out my video about the 10 best designer bag dupes. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. You return to provide you with the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!